You've done a lot of topics in mathematics, many, many topics, and sometimes it's very obvious when they're related together, but other times it feels like, oh, you know, today is just a trigonometry day, and then the next week it's like, oh, it's a statistics day, and it's just a piece of nothing to do with each other, okay? Now, I would like in the topics of mathematics, kind of like understanding the different systems there are in a human body, okay? Now, obviously you can study them in isolation, Obviously, and that's how we have experts, people who are like cardiovascular surgeons or people who sort of um, specialize in the respiratory system or the nervous system or the digestive system or the... I don't know, I didn't do biology, so I'm running out of systems here, okay? But my point is, even those of you who didn't do biology like me know, because you inhabit one of these things, that it's sort of a bit silly in the end to study a system like the cardiovascular system in isolation. I mean, for instance, it's pretty obvious. If you even look at the shape of the cardiovascular system, it's in two halves. And the reason it's in two halves is because it has a particular relationship with the respiratory system, right? What are the two halves doing? One, part, one half is delivering oxygen and the other half is taking away the waste products, right? So it's like, well, how far can you understand the cardiovascular system if you don't know anything about the respiratory system, okay? Now, it's the same in mathematics. We're doing complex numbers right now, okay? But importantly, there are two main other systems, if you like, that complex numbers interact with. You may want to jot these down. I'll jot them down. The first one, which I'm going to, this is what this is about. The first system or topic that we're going to interact with is trig. And the second one, which you've already tasted a little bit of, but there's more to come, is polynomials, okay? now. Right now, what we're going to do is we're just going to focus on the complex numbers parts of this system. As it were, it's like, look, okay, yes, we know the respiratory system has an impact on this, but you don't need to know everything about the respiratory system to understand the cardiovascular. In the same way, I'm just going to tell you the little bits of this that will help you, that will equip you to understand the bits in complex numbers we're going to touch. Okay? So now that's out of the way, I really need to find a way for this thing, but this will have to do for you. If you haven't already, the heading I'd like you to make is radiant measure. Now, radiant measure is the name of a topic you will encounter next year. Maybe some of you have heard it already. I'm only going to tell you a very small part of radiant measure, the part that relates to complex numbers, okay? And um, expect that next year, sort of term one and two, you will find out a whole lot more of this. You'll be like, oh, this really is about. Okay. So let me tell you the essentials. Number one, radians. Radians, what are they? Radians, for our intents and purposes, you need to understand them as an alternative way to measure angles. Okay, they're an alternative way to measure angles. Now you might think, huh, what's wrong with degrees? And the answer is, actually, there are lots of things wrong with degrees, and you'll find out when you do radian measure proper. But for now, I want you to understand, when you meet like the angles that we're gonna talk about today, we're gonna to do all of them in radians, okay? You may momentarily think, oh, degrees, you'll need to convert a little bit, and you'll get more comfortable with that as time passes, okay? Now, because you're probably not comfortable yet, we need to know some common quantities, so that when you see a number, um, or a particular kind of angle, you're like, I know what that is in radians, okay? So the most important one you wanna start with is a revolution. A full revolution, Rather than saying it's 360 degrees to turn all the way around, we would say in radians, that's two pi radians. Yes, pi as in the circle number, pi, right? So if a revolution all the way around is two pi radians, what would a straight angle, half a revolution be? It's just going to be, that's a terrible writing. It's just gonna be pi, right? So pi radians will take you halfway, around a circle. Two pi radians will take you all the way. What do you think might be one common sense final common quantity to include on there? Uh, a right angle, right? So normally you'd say 90 degrees, but you can see I've got these in order so you can see it a little more obviously. A right angle is just half of a straight angle, yes? So in radians I would say pi on two. That's all you need to know about radians today. Like I said, there's a lot more to this topic. You're like, what, what kind of a topic is this, okay? Well, there's plenty more to come, but for now, I just need you to have this idea in your head because we're gonna talk about angles today and we're gonna talk in terms of radians, not degrees. 
Okay.